Welcome back everyone to Photography by Harrison. What we are going to be doing today is going to be a viewer suggested video. And his name is Ray and I'm going to spell his last name because I cannot pronounce it. C-A-R-L-O-T-T-I and of course I will leave a link to his YouTube page in the description. And the idea is you take things like spinning coins, birds on a wire, vehicles moving down the road, or when you photograph them in slow motion, how does that change the way you see them? That's why your imagination will come into play. I'm going to show you what I saw with my imagination. Then I'm going to ask you what, did you, what did you see with your imagination? With that being said, let's take our camera and our imagination, and I'll see you on the other side of the video. Some people might think you are crazy trying to get video of a bicentennial dollar spinning on your front steps. But video of that bicentennial dollar spinning in slow motion takes you back to 1976. You can visualize the parades and you can hear the bicentennial music that was being played. And you see the flags all over the country in celebration. A bird sitting on a power line getting ready to take off. We see you every day and it doesn't really stir our imagination. But that same bird sitting on the power line and taking off in slow motion stirs our imagination as we marvel at its beauty of flight and we wonder if we could fly, where would we go and would the bird be there to meet us? On the times you have visited Bicentennial Park in Ashbury, you have probably noticed the United States flag, the North Carolina flag, and the Ashbury flag blowing in the breeze. But did it really move you any? When you see those same flags blowing in the breeze in slow motion, it makes you slow down and take pride in your country, your state, and of course, your city. If you live in North Carolina, you have seen this many times. Heavy rain and sunshine. But have you seen it in slow motion? Is the rain heavier in slow motion? Is the sun brighter? We have all seen 18-wheelers coming down our street delivering precious cargo. But in slow motion, delivering that same precious cargo become majestic, almost magical. How many times have we washed our hands since the pandemic started? Do we even give it a second thought? What about washing them in slow motion? Is the soap smoother? Is the water wetter? Who knows, but it does look cool. We will end this video with a dub bar sitting in the sink. In slow motion, the water slides over the bar like liquid ice and the bubbles dance to a tune of their own. Listen, you might even hear what's being played. Well, now you know what I saw with my imagination. Now I want you to tell me what you saw with your imagination in the comments below. And also tell me if you actually like the video because guess what that motivates me to go out and do more video and if you don't like the video that's fine just tell me why you didn't like it because that will also motivate me to go out and do more videos so you like them next time because you know I say it all the time no one knows it all when it comes to photography and you know the rest the more you learn about photography the more you learn you didn't know that's why I'm always open to ideas and suggestions if you got an idea and maybe something I can photograph let me know. I'll go out and see what I can do with it. Because that's the only way we get better. But challenge ourselves. If we stay the same, we never get any better. We never improve. So that's why you always want to try to challenge yourself. Find something new. Even if it's something you photograph a thousand times before. Guess what? When you photograph it a thousand and one times, you will still see, see, see something different. As always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I will see you next time.